Well, howdly doodly, you handsome bastards. Uh, zero here. And today is going to be day one. It's technically three o'clock in the afternoon, so we'll see what I can get done. The job today is... I will make sure you guys can see it down here. A leaking slave cylinder. So, right there, we have a bunch of hoses that I have holding tension on the lower line. And, as you guys can see, I kind of have a little setup with an extension already on the bell housing. Just, like, to size up my bolts. I stuck that on there last night as part of my prep. The only real things I did for prep was cleaned out a pan because I'm going to be recycling this fluid it's expensive and I literally just changed it the doy so all that aside I got some beautiful sun glare let me use Samsung's awesome autofocus here and today's task is actually the hardest part of the job one would think you know oh, the cross member bolts or the center bolts for the center part of the drive shaft nope nope think it's even the top bolt no because once you get everything in the transition jack in place, that top bolt's pretty easy to get. So, I'm gonna crawl over here. And by the power of magic. These bad boys, right here. Not even the screws, but there are snap rings with no hooks, no points of I can't get you to see them in there. I can't even really see them in there right this second. Well, a little bit. But those lovely snap rings are terrible. Terrible GM product. That's going to take most of the time. And the rest should go smoothly. We're going to document everything. But realize that there are some snap rings in there. And I'll explain how I get them out when I get them out. Because, well, they're unpredictable for me. Though unpredictable as they may be, I feel like I came prepared. I have this lovely, lovely thing. I don't know who made it. Looks like a Craftsman product. We have a homemade. I have no idea who made that, but the tip is homemade. I made that myself. And then, this little guy that I found the other day. I have no idea who made it. This is USA Surplus. You just say tool steel, so it might just be a little cheapo. But I feel like if my memory serves me correct, last time I spent about 30 bucks on snap ring pliers, everything, and if I'm not mistaken, one of these three was the one that took it out. So I'm going to get to that, and we'll be back in a little while.